Welcome to Live Editor Pro for Elementor. My name is Michael Short, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick tour on how Live Editor Pro works with Elementor. But before I get started, I wanna first discuss why we created this plugin in the first place. And that is because as developers, we can truly appreciate all the options and features that Elementor provides us while creating a website. However, what we notice is clients tend to feel overwhelmed and intimidated by the Elementor page builder. And so we wanted to create a way for our customers to be able to make changes to their site without ever having to open the Elementor page builder. So let's dive in. As you can see, I've created a landing page using one of Elementor's templates. And what I wanna first show you is that I created it using all the simple widgets that you would normally use when creating a page. So let's start from the top. I created this element using an image. If I click on the section, I can show you that the background is being using a style as an image. And then we have two buttons here, button one and button two, as well as a heading. Now, if I scroll down the page, we also have a background image in this section and we have more, more headings and more text editing. And we also have icons. If I go ahead and click on this, you'll see that we have an icon. And again, the same thing goes down below. We have a heading, we have images, and we have more text and another heading. And that's it. I'm not going to bore you with the rest, but that's how we built this page, just like we would build any other normal page using Elementor. So now let's take a look at how your customers will be able to edit their websites using Live Editor Pro. So here we are on the front end of our website. So all we need to do to edit the page is to click on Live Editor, and we will be presented with our Live Editor toolbar, as well as you'll see the areas that are editable along with the images and the background. So I wanna point out that if I click anywhere on the background or actually on any item that has a background, it's gonna bring up a icon here of the paintbrush, letting us know that that background has an image. So in order to change that background image, all you need to do is click on the icon. It brings up your media library, just like any WordPress editor would do. And then you just select the image that you want to replace it with. So let's go ahead and make it the city in this case. So let's hit select. And now we just easily change the background just like that. Now, if, let's say we wanted to change this image. So all you have to do is click on image, then click edit, find the image you want to replace it with, and then click select. The next thing you could do is change the headline. So let's just say all my daily tasks. And we want to underline all my. So you just highlight it and just edit like you normally would with an editor. We can do the same with the buttons. By clicking on the buttons, you can change the text. You can change it to be italicized, underlined, or bolded. So let's go ahead and undo all of that. And you can also change the link here. So now that you've seen how easy it is to make these changes, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other items that can be changed. For example, we can change icons. So let's click on this icon. And now you'll see a new icon appear, which is the wrench. Click on the wrench icon and it brings up your selection options for icons. Just scroll through and find the one you want. So let's pretend we just want this arrow left and we'll click select. We can do the same obviously with the rest of the icons. We can also change the text of this headline, change the text here of this text editor. And we can go through the entire page and start changing out everything that we want to change. So. Let's go ahead and do a couple more items just so you can see how easy these things are to make changes. And I'll just change a couple more items just so you could see. I said they wanted to rearrange these over into a couple different places. So now we'll put a different one over here. So that's it. As you can see, it's very easy to change. You can change pretty much anything and everything you see on the page. What you can't do is rearrange and your customers are limited by uh, the changes that they can make. So it really makes it easier for them to edit the things that they need without really mucking up the design that you've created for them. And also just so you, as a side note, I actually prefer to use Live Editor even on when I'm editing a client work just because it's a lot quicker than jumping into Live, I mean, into Elementor Pro. It allows me to just make these quick edits um, without having to go through all of that. So 
One last thing I want to show you is if you click on this hamburger menu, you can give you can manage roles. So if you want to give customers specific customers total access, you could do that by clicking here and saying what type of role you want to have total access for. Again, we can do the same. So you can do it for multiple roles. I'm going to go ahead and remove those. You also have it for limited access. Let me get out of there. Okay. So you have limited access for the entire site and then limited access for this page only. So what do I mean by limited access? So let's say, for example, you don't want them to have access to edit, let's say, uh, this section here. So you click in this section. Let me go ahead and remove this roll thinger. So we clicked in this section, and now I want to lock them out from using, utilizing that. So now I click the lock. And as you can see, the dotted line went from the gray to now red. So that just indicates that a customer cannot edit this section. So when you assign roles based on the role and their access level will determine whether or not they're able to actually access these sections that you've locked out. And that's it. So if you want to actually unlock it, just go ahead and click back in there and click the unlock or the lock button so that uh, it unlocks itself. And once you're done with all the changes, go ahead and click done and click publish. And now we have a fully changed website based on all the things that our clients were able to change quickly and easily themselves. So I have one more feature I'd like to show you. So let's jump over to the dashboard. Inside the dashboard, we're going to scroll down till we get to settings. So once you've installed and activated your plugin, you're going to look for Live Editor Pro for Elementor inside of your settings. Inside there, you're going to go ahead and click on the license tab, enter your license code and activate it. Once you've done so, now you're, you're ready to go. But you also have the ability to rebrand Live Editor Pro to your own colors. So all you have to do is just click on the color that you want to change. So in this case, we're going to change this purple to perhaps maybe teal is your color. Let's go with like a light blue. Let's just kind of make this look halfway decent, huh? So we're going to go light blue. And let's say that the other color that we want to do is let's go on the green side. Let's do something interesting. So let's say that's our color palette that we like to use. And let's say that the font color is still going to be white. Our button font color is also white. And we'll change the button background color to let's just go with like a nice gray. Let's find one that's a good mutual gray in there. And then we go ahead and click Save. Once that's completed, we're going to go back to Live Editor Pro on the front end. I'm going to hard refresh this page just so that we could see exactly um, what we just the changes we just made. All right, so let's go ahead and click on Live Editor. And there we have it. We just changed the entire look of the, the editor toolbar. So well, that's it. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thanks. Take care.